Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to install and use Podman, an alternative to Docker. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know Podman is a container management tool like Docker, but when we first talk about virtualization in uh, Linux, the first word that comes to our mind is Docker. But the developer in Red Hat actually has made this tool with some features, especially security features, in order to enhance Docker. Okay. So among these features, I will just give you three, the main three features. First one. Podman can run rootless containers, okay? So, as you know, when you execute commands with Docker, you need to be root or have root privileges. But with Podman, you can execute or run containers without any root privileges. So, it can protect compromise containers by attacker. So if you have a container that has actually compromised, you will not get access to the root privileges into your system. So that's the first advantage. The second one is that Podman run in daemonless mode. Okay, so it doesn't need a daemon in order to run. It's not like Docker, which is actually a client server architecture. So Docker always need a daemon in the background to run in order to execute commands, okay? And finally, Podman can run pods similar to what we have in Kubernetes. So a pod actually can contain one or more containers. So those are the three main features of Podman. So now let's try to install it. So it depends on your system. So if you have, for example, uh, Ubuntu, you can just uh, execute apt install, of course, with root privileges, uh, Podman, okay? Or if you have uh, CentOS or any Red Hat based distribution, you can use yum install your package, okay? But here I'm using actually Arch Linux, Art Linux. So in order to uh, install it, I need root privileges and the package manager for Arch Linux is actually pacman. So install it is simple as pacman is execute this command pacman dash capital S and the package name, which in this case is podman. So it's simple as that. So I will give here my root credentials. Here we go. So it's about 63.27 megabytes. So I'll just install it. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So Podman is installed now. So I can verify the version. So Podman version. So here you can see the client or the Podman engine has as a version 4.1.1 okay i can also get more info if you want using uh, pacman which is my packet manager so pacman minus capital q i for information and the package which is podman so this command will give me more information about this package and all the dependencies okay so the license and architecture description and so on so here you can see its tool and library for running oci based container in pods so this is the podman package okay and you can see also the install date the build date and the install script if it has or not okay So now, let's actually run a container. So in order to run it, there is the very famous one which called Hello World. So let's run it and see what we get. 
So remember here, I don't need root privileges to execute podman commands. I can execute it just with my user. So let's run our first container podman run hello world. So it's simple as that. Here we go, so you can see that commands has been executed successfully. So we get hello from Docker. This message shows that your installation appears to be working. So with the podman actually, we run our first container. Okay, so we can also use the command docker ps minus a to see all the previous containers. So the hello world actually container has been exited because it doesn't contain a process so in order to see it to see the previous container we have to add here minus a so here i have actually i mistyped i should not use docker i don't have docker here installed but podman so here you can see that same exact command that you execute with docker actually applies to podman here we go. So this is the container that I have run 59 seconds ago. And of course it has exited because it doesn't have any process running. Okay. So the thing to remember here that we have the same exact commands with Docker and Podman. We can see also the images that has been downloaded. So if you have Docker, normally you will execute docker images but as i told you we have the same commands so we can just replace docker with podman we can even put it put podman as an alias for docker so some do that but me i don't have even docker installed here we go so here you can see the image that has been pulled from the registry here one thing to mention is that you can specify from which re, uh, actually registry the images will get pulled so here by default it has pulled from the docker.io but you can also pull them from the kuai.io which is a red hat registry and i will show you where you can configure that so actually all you have to do is to open uh, a file here in the etc directory etc slash containers container.conf so this is the file that you can actually edit in order to tell podman by default from which registry it will pull the images okay <coughs> so here sudo nano i need editor so let's pull that nano okay so it's quite a small file so all you have to do in order to specify actually from which registry to download the pool images is to add a directive registry and to mention from which registries that you want to download your containers so let's exit this file and if you don't want to miss with this uh, file container.conf there is another trick you can specify from which registry to download the image or to pull the images using the command podman pull and here normally you will specify the registry so for example i want to download alpine image so i will specify i want to download it from docker.io registry and here i will specify the name of my image so in this case it's alpine linux okay so let's pull that image here we go so now you can see the different layers okay and the image has been pulled we can verify that using podman images 
so indeed we have two images okay so now let's try to uh, actually download another one for example nginx and to run a container okay so i can do that using podman run i will specify here the name for my container dash dash name let's call it for example my nginx okay let's map a port so for example let's use port 8080 i will map it to the port 80 of the image nginx so by default it has the default port of 80 so here i can specify always the registry then the image name so with simple command actually will be running this container called my nginx and it will be running because the process or the web server uh, nginx will be running okay and here also you'll notice i don't need any root privileges i can run that as simple user so let's execute this command and see what we get so here it will pull actually the images the different layers of the images Here we go, so you, now you can see that uh, my image or my container has been run. So I can launch another console, okay. So here I'm using commander, but you can use putty if you want or any terminal. So I'll get connected to the same Arch Linux. Here we go, so let's run the command podman, not docker, podman ps, podman ps in order to see the running container here we go so you can see here my nginx is running okay and the port is mapped from 8080 okay so as i told you the same command that i use with docker applies to podman so we see podman images we see podman ps we can also start remove stop container for example let's stop this one so i will use the command podman stop and i need just two, two letters of the name or the name actually which is my nginx okay here we go it has been stopped let's verify that ps i don't have any running container but if i run podman ps minus a i will see all the previous running containers okay I can remove that container you use the command podman rm and the container name so in this case it was uh, my nginx okay and the container actually has been removed so here i only have the previous hello world container or actually it's image not so container okay Also, one important thing I want to mention is the directory where or the location of the containers. So, if I do ls minus a to see all the hidden files in my home directory, there is a directory called dot local. So, if I list the content of the directory dot local slash share slash containers slash storage. So this is the default location of uh, my containers. So if I go to overlay layers, for example, here, layers, you can see all the different layers that has been downloaded or pulled from the registry, okay? So also if you want to get in depth into uh, Podman, you can take a look at this storage directory where it contains the location for your containers and of course if you need any help you can use podman minus minus help so we'll see all the different uh, commands that you can use with the docker or podman actually so podman so they are actually the same as docker so podman inspect podman import images you can remove images if you want 
let me remove the images that I downloaded so let me list them first here we go so I have downloaded three images so let's say for example I wanted to remove this image here hello world which begins by F E B as an ID I can just use the command podman and here the most important thing without root privileges so I can use podman images or image remove and I will give here just the image ID so in this case it's F E B5 for example actually it's uh, used by a container so I have to stop the container first then remove the images so let's list the container docker or podman ps minus a so I have to remove first this one podman remove and id 338 so now the container has been removed now I can remove the image feb5 here we go it has been now removed so let's verify that images so I have only two okay so that was just a brief introduction to the podman which is actually an alternative to docker with some enhanced features security features that was just introduction so as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing bye bye